Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boonbape and hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'll be bringing you all another New World video, and this time it's going to be an updated guide on my Great Axe build. I have made this build in the past, so it is not going to be as in-depth as my previous videos. If you want to go check out videos like that, or my money-making videos, anything like that, then feel free to check out the channel. Of course, while this video is going to be a little bit shorter than that video, there's still going to be timestamps down in the description. So if you want to jump around, just look at my gear or my stats or anything like that, then feel free to look down there. Of course, as always, if you think there's ways to improve this build, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear everyone's input and feedback. Of course, as always, if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as I really do appreciate it and it really does help the channel get noticed. So with that out of the way, let's jump into this build video. So here we are at the gear. I quickly wanted to go over this real quick. Not too much has changed, but I am going to just show everyone in case this is the first time you're seeing it. I am still going with the heavy loadout overall because one, it's just straight up damage mitigation, stability, some great crowd controls. So honestly, I think heavy would be the way to go, even if light isn't bugged. And I think it currently is bugged. It's not doing the correct amount of damage. Even if that wasn't the case, I still think heavy would be the option to go with here but I still need to do some testing and I'll do some after they fix light gear. As far as the actual gear goes, you're gonna mainly be looking for high strength with medium constitution as a secondary, but really just go for whatever gear you can get your hands on. As you can see, I'm about 550 gear score right now. And a lot of this gear isn't going to be ideal until I get a very, very high gear score because I'm kind of just getting and working with whatever I have at the moment. And then I have Quite a few pieces that have pure strength on it like i said this is going to be okay because it's just what i have at the moment but again you'd ideally want something that looks like these pants so these pants are really good as you can see high strength medium constitution with a socket that's going to be exactly what you want of course good perks is always really good to be on the lookout for but if this is all you can get then it obviously is going to work perfectly fine again pure strength on the boots and that's going to be about it as far as the jewelry goes, I don't think this changed since the last video. This necklace you get from the uh, legendary quest for your weapon. Very, very good necklace. I'd highly recommend doing the quest just for this necklace, honestly. As far as the jewelry goes, I'm just looking for stuff with strength as well as half decent perks on it, which is why I got this. It doesn't really work that well for me because of the dexterity, but it does have keen awareness, which is very good for this build. And lastly, we have the earring, which... It does have strength, so that's good, but the only other reason I have it is because it has luck on it, so that is the main reason I want this. So that's going to be about it for the jewelry. Let me knock out this invasion real quick, and we will be back here to show you the rest of the gear. All right, so we are back after that slight interruption. Kind of a funny timing. I'll throw some of the footage in there so you can actually see what the build plays like. And so we left off going over the weapons. So the main weapon here is going to be the Great Axe, of course, which I'm using the Reformation. This is still the highest gear score and best weapon I've found as far as Great Axes go. But ideally, you're going to look for something that has really great perks, such as extra crit, extra damage on your basic attack and heavy attack, stuff like that. Like I said in the previous video, the Syndicate Alchemist Axe definitely has a really, really good set of perks there extra crit chance as well as extra base damage on your light and heavy attack. So this is going to be what you're looking for, but something that is a little bit higher level like this. You'll probably notice that my gear score watermark did change. It's because usually whenever I'm going into like more serious combat situations, I will throw on the hatchet in the secondary slot. This really rounds out the build. It gives me exactly 100 constitution, which is good. I'll get that extra notable. And on top of that, it has a good amount of strength. Also, of course, I think most people know at this point, the hatchet is very, very strong in its abilities. So whenever I have my Great Axe's abilities on cooldown, I'll swap to the hatchet usually and use that. So of course, you're going to be looking for similar perks on your secondary weapon as well. Extra crit, extra base damage. Those, those are both going to be very, very good as far as just what, whatever secondary weapon you're using. Whenever I'm not using this secondary, I like to just level up any other thing. So... Whenever I need to get around fast, I'll use the bow or the fire staff. You saw that I had the extra sword in here just in case I need to taunt some enemies. And so I like to throw on a different stuff in the secondary slot. But if I am actually trying to deal damage, I'm going to be rocking the hatchet. So that is going to be about it for the gear. Again, if you have any questions about the build or the gear, anything like that, make sure to throw them down in the comments below. 
So let's move on to my stat allocations. So here we are over at the attributes window and you can see all of my stats. I'll quickly show you what points I have committed. So there's 130 here in strength as well as 70 here in constitution. The 70, like I said, with the hatchet that I have gives me the second notable, which is I think really good. All of the notables for constitution are very good. So that's why I have that there. And this is quite a bit different from my previous build where I had a lot more constitution. Now I'm going into strength quite heavy, as you can see here, 318. And this final notable on strength is very, very good. And I'm not talking about the mining ore with a single swing, although that's pretty cool. But having a grit on your light and heavy attacks make it so that you're able to dish out much more damage. You're not going to be getting knocked back whenever you do take damage from the enemies, of course, bosses, all of them knock back or any time that you do get hit by them and you have a light attack going, you don't have to dodge out of the way. You can simply finish your light or your heavy attack. Make sure whenever you do play in this playstyle, though, it doesn't diminish your skills so that essentially you're not getting hit way more often because getting hit more often while you are doing more damage, you're also putting a lot of pressure on your healer, which could overall be worse for the group. Not only would it be worse for the group, it's also just a bad playstyle in general because you can't always rely on having 300 strength, at least for the most part. And also you can't always rely on being in a light or heavy attack animation because this doesn't count for any of your abilities. So you can still get knocked on your butt pretty often if you don't know when to use your light and heavy attacks. So that's gonna be about it for the stats. I'll quickly show, of course, 1400 in the weapon for the main hand, nearly a thousand in the secondary and just over 10,000 health. So this really makes it so that I have just enough health where I'm not getting one shot by a lot of things. And in PVP, it does take quite a while to take me down because I am having a good amount of lifesteal regen and of course healing from the healers. One really quick thing before we hop over to the actual weapon build is gonna be for dexterity. So this is something I have played around with in the past and why I do have a pure dexterity hatchet offhand. So this here gives you an extra 5% chance to critical hit and I have used this and I do think it is very good. The only reason I don't have it socketed currently is because I am uh, utilizing my light and heavy weapon that has grit on it much, much more and I am liking the experiments that I've done with this so far. That being said, if you wanted to take away some points for that, if you don't think the grit is super valuable to you personally, then I would try and go over here and put your extra points here into dexterity. I think you'll see a lot more damage return in that way. Also, you'll see more health and life sustain because of course you heal via the great ax with your critical attacks. So you don't even need to put a ton of points into here. As you can see, I don't have any committed points in this section. So what's nice is you can go back to your character's equipment throw in a pure dex offhand like this. So you get 24 points from this. And then you have, of course, your base points here, which is five. So you're only gonna need to allocate about 20 points into dexterity to get this first notable, which like I said, is gonna be very, very strong for multiple reasons. So that is the other type of build that I would recommend. Again, if you either can't get this last notable or simply don't think it's that useful. So moving on to my great axe build. So this is what I have been using for quite some time for PVE and for PVP content and not much has changed. I'm simply throwing it in here in case anyone was wondering. One thing that I have changed up is a lot of people are telling me that gravity here is bugged with certain abilities, primarily being reap, which is a really big deal. And so as long as it's bugged, as long as people tell me it's bugged and I haven't done any testing, I just, a lot of people even in my server have told me that gravity is bugged when working with reap that i'm just not going to use this so what i did when i didn't have access to 300 strength was i would use this enduring strikes and i think it is a very very good uh extra point just to throw in here one it's going to give you grit on your heavy attacks this is going to be really useful for if you want to sustain damage on bosses for example and on top of that, it gives you 20% damage reduction while heavy attacking and grit is activated. So not only are you going to be taking less damage while using grit, but also you're not going to get knocked back. So you're doing more damage and taking less damage. So this is a very, very good point to throw in there. And I think this is one of the best additions that I've done to the build so far. Everything else is pretty standard and par for the course. You're taking all of the damage and healing lifesteal nodes in Reaper 
as well as all of the AoE and crowd control nodes in Mauler. Of course, Gravity Well isn't going to be the best and most ideal ability for PvE. I would honestly swap Gravity Well over here to Execute, as I think that is going to be a huge benefit in content such as uh, going to Garden of Genesis, Lazarus, all the bosses. Execute is going to pay dividends 100-fold over Gravity Well. So go with that. Also for PvP, I have definitely heard people in the comments. Don't worry, I told you I read all the comments. I know charge is really good. I simply don't run it because I like to run hatchet in the offhand. So whenever I do go deep into enemy territory, usually I can swap to the hatchet, pop berserk, and pretty much walk out of situations because of all the crowd control breaking berserk has, and walk out, maybe pop a potion, and my healers will take care of the rest. That's usually how it works in PvP for me, and I have had great success with that. Although, if you are not able to rely on your healers, and you or you don't like using Hatchet as a secondary, then Charge is going to be a great alternative if you don't want to use Gravity Well or Maelstrom. You can easily swap over here and pick this up. Although, I don't think the extra perks here, Frenzied Momentum and Unpredictable Strike, are really worth it, honestly. I'd probably just take the ability and then throw on some extra perks from the Mauler tree. So that is what I would recommend and that is going to be my updated build. I hope that you all enjoyed the video and this does help you out. I'll quickly go over one last time all of my stats and show you my gear. So hopefully you did enjoy this video and it does give you some more information. Maybe tweak your build a little bit. Try out the extra uh, notable that you get for having 50 dexterity and let me know how it goes. So I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you all very soon.